Hi, I'm here again to teach you a different strategy today. Today's strategy is for like, I think second graders, beginning third graders when you're doing subtraction with and without regrouping. Now a lot of students understand what subtraction is when you do, do it with ones and tens or you could call them uh, cubes and longs. But when you actually get a whole sheet of problems, you sort of get confused. When do I regroup? When do I not regroup? So I'll tell you a little strategy, kind of like a story, so that you know, you'll remember when you need to regroup and when you don't need to regroup, okay? All right, this is probably how you learned it and this is what actual subtraction is. If you Look at these now. You have three ones, there's three over here, and you have two tens. So your number is 23. And you are going to take away 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 5 ones and 1 10 from there. So now, if you look at it, you say, well, how can I take away 5 from 3? How can I take away 5 from 3? So what do you do? You trade one of the tens for 10 ones. Or if you call it longs and cubes, you trade one long for 10 cubes. Let's do that now. So here I take the way and I'm going to stick one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and 10. 10 cubes or 10 ones for this one here. All right, now we have enough to take away. If you have 13 ones over here and you have to take away five, we can do that. Let's see what we have left here. We take away one, two, three, four, and five. So what do we have left? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and eight ones. That's your ones place. You have eight ones left and you have one long, you take away one long, or you have one ten, you take away one ten, what do you have left? Zero. So your answer is eight. Now what happens is, when you get a worksheet of just problems, you kind of forget, what am I trading for what? How many do I need? So I'm going to tell you a strategy. It's kind of like a story. Tell yourself the story over and over again. You can pause the video, you can rewind it, listen to the story again, and actually use it when you're going to do a subtraction problem. So let me take this away now. And I will erase this. All right, let's start with the first number. And this one doesn't have regrouping. 34, take away 21. Okay? I have, the, my story goes like this. I was going to bake some cookies, some chocolate chip cookies, but I needed sugar for this. It was late at night and I didn't have any sugar at home. So what did I do? I, did, I have to go to my neighbors then to borrow. But think about it this way. If I have four cups of sugar, that's what I have. And I only need one. That's what I need. Do I have enough? Yes. Four take away one is three. Okay. And three take away two is one and my answer is 13. You didn't need any regrouping in this problem at all. Now let's try a different one. Let's say my number is 42 and I need to take away 27. Okay, now let's go with the story again. I was going to bake some chocolate chip cookies and I needed sugar. It was late at night, the stores were closed. I couldn't go to the store to buy any sugar. So what could I do? I would have gone to my neighbors, but let's see what I have. I only have two cups of sugar. I really need seven. That means I don't have enough. I went to my neighbor, knocked at his door. He had four cups of sugar. So I borrowed only one from him. He had four. He gave me one. How many does he have left? Three. So I'll write the three here. And the one cup of sugar I borrowed from him goes right here. And my number becomes 12. So now let's see if I have enough. 12 take away 7 is 5. That worked. 3 take away 2 is 1. That worked. And my answer is 15. Let's see how this works with numbers which might have a 0 in it. I'll erase this number. My new number is going to be 
410 take away 123 now I'm again going to use my sugar cookie story regardless of how big the number gets if you follow this strategy a step at a time you'll never ever go wrong okay and it's such a delicious recipe sugar cookies let's start again Ooh, I was going to bake some cookies but I have zero cups of sugar and I really needed three so where did I go stores were all closed I went to my neighbor my neighbor had one cup of sugar he gave me the one cup of sugar now he has zero and the one cup of sugar that I borrowed I write here now we are not going to go any further. First I do my subtraction for the ones. 10 take away 3 is 7. Now let's take go to the middle one, the tens. Oh, I have 0 cups of sugar but I really need 2. So I go to my neighbor. He has 4 cups of sugar. I, he gave me 1. That means he has 3. And I, I got the 1 which I wrote over here. 10 take away 2 is 8. 3 take away one is two so my answer is 287 now did you notice something I didn't go beyond this just make sure that you have enough sugar for yourself I'll show you in the next problem when you should or should not borrow sugar or what happens if there are two zeros in the number let's see let's say my number is 200 and I need to take away 123 from this okay sugar cookie time let's go I have zero cups of sugar but I really need three and the stores are closed so I go to my neighbor he didn't have any sugar either so I go to the next neighbor and he had two cups of sugar okay so I borrow one now he has one left but I'm a nice person I don't just take all the sugar for myself I give it to the neighbor who doesn't have any so I write the one here now he has 10 cups of sugar but I borrow one so he has 9 and now I have 10 and I stop there do I need to give any sugar to anybody over here no so now let me do my subtraction take 10 take away 3 is 7 9 take away 2 is 7 1 take away one is zero so your answer is 77 how about if our number was kind of pretty big you just have to use the same strategy okay but you need to know, know the strategy really well it's a yum strategy it's sugar cookies let's say we had a big number like this 51,010 that's a big number isn't it and I'm going to take away 28,000 300 maybe I ought to scoot these num words down a little bit this is what I have and this is what I need okay now here's one thing about the sugar cookie thing if you have enough sugar or you don't need it don't borrow because next time you go to the neighbor and say I want to borrow sugar he'll think hmm this lady has enough sugar but she still keeps borrowing from me let's see how what zero take away zero? I have zero cups of sugar, but I really need zero. So do I need to borrow? No. So my answer is zero. Let's go to the tens place. I have one cup of sugar and I really need zero here. I have enough. One take away zero is one. Now let's look at this. I have zero cups of sugar. I really need three. Do I have enough? No, I don't. So I go to my neighbor. He has one cup of sugar. He gives it to me. Now he has zero and I have ten. Ten take away three is seven. Let's go here now. I have zero cups of sugar. I really need eight so I have to go to my neighbor again. He had five cups of sugar. He gave me one. How many does he have now? Four. That's right. Four. And the one cup of sugar that I borrowed I wrote over here. 10 take away 8 is 2 and then 4 take away 2 is 2 I put my comma right over here and there's my answer 22,710 so if you ever have to do any subtractions remember the sugar cookie story and you'll never go wrong